myself. My name is Dana Salls, Lead Instructor for Developmental Reading in English. And I would like to welcome all of our guest speakers who came today, all of our master students who came to speak with you, and most of all, you guys, the ACA students, to our Fall 2014 orientation. Today, students, you are here. Does anybody know why you're here? Students, why are you here today? I heard extra points. I think that's the main reason why students come. They get extra points, yes. You are here for your bonus points in ACA, but you're also here to learn more about the campus, the resources on campus. If you will, you're going to be referred to this gold sheet several times, and also your other sheet. As our guest speakers come up, they're going to let you know which sheet that they are um, referring you to. So the gold sheets... Our academic resources here at Beaufort County Community College. The first one that I'm going to introduce you to is uh, our Vice President of Student Services. And before he comes up, I did want to mention um, our President, Dr. Tansy, was unable to, unable to make it today. She had a prior commitment. Um, but instead, of course, Rick always does a wonderful job. <laughs> He's going to give you some good advice. And I would like to now welcome Rick. <laughs> Uh, first of all, let me start off by welcoming all of you to Beaufort Community College on behalf of Dr. Tanzi and the other vice presidents uh, here at the community college and, and just to say thank you for choosing Beaufort Community College. Uh, we, we live in a time now where students can access uh, education via the internet and uh, through all of the sorts of media. Uh, from just about anywhere that you want to go, and, and uh, but you chose Beaufort Community College, and, and uh, I want to thank you for that. Um, you made a great choice. I think you made a very wise choice. Um, my short time of being here, I found Beaufort Community College to be a, uh, a friendly, um, professional environment. The instructors uh, take very seriously the uh, students that are in their classes and it just feels like a family kind of environment that I think um, as I've talked with students in, uh, through the past that they really enjoy. They, they like getting to know the students and that, that interaction and that relationship that they develop. Uh, let me very quickly tell you a little bit about my position and, and how I can be of service to you. First of all, as Vice President of Student, student Services, I'm over the Student Services area which encompasses our counselors, it encompasses the uh, career center, it encompasses all of the student activities, it covers the registrar's office, the admissions office, and also the financial aid office. So all of those things fall underneath of me. Uh, so if you have problems with, with any of those things or questions, the first thing that I would encourage you to do is to, is to follow the chain of command and go see those directors. Um, or coordinators that are in charge of those various departments. They are good people and they're, they're, they're here to serve you and help you and I think that you'll find them to be very informative and, and uh, they'll help you with just about any problems that you have. I'm also here uh, to help you as a student if you come into some type of a problem with the grades or things like that. There is a protocol that you'll follow uh, but if you have a grade that you have in question and, and you and the instructor just can't quite see eye to eye on it and, and uh, can't come to some type of an agreement, uh, you'll then need to go and see the dean uh, for that respective area. And if you still can't get things worked out, then you can come and see me. Um, I'm located over in Building 1, Office 101B. Um, you're welcome to come see me. I will, I will help you in any way that I can. We'll work through whatever problem that you may have and if we still can't get the problem resolved there is a student appeals process that you can go through and I will I'm the one that helps to facilitate that process for you so that you have those due process rights and the opportunity for your concern to be heard uh, unfortunately on the other side of that I'm also the one that you will come and see if there are some kind of problems uh, with behavior or issues that you may that an instructor may be having with you as a student. Uh, so I, I hope that I don't have to see any of you in that regard, but uh, that also does fall under my uh, authority as well. 
So I'm going to wrap it up. You got a lot of folks to talk to or to, to listen to today. And I uh, hope that you take advantage and listen. Uh, there are a lot of great resources here for you. Uh, again, my office is over in Building 1, Room 101B. And, and uh, if I can be of any service to you, please stop by, and I'll be happy to help in any way that I can. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Another resource on your goal sheet is the Academic Support Center and our coordinators here today, Mr. James Casey. Good afternoon. Um, I think many of you may have already come to visit us already this semester in Academic Support Center. Um, if you haven't, I encourage you to. We've got a fantastic new room this, uh, this semester. We've uh, moved into a larger space. We are now, um, we have access to the Academic Support Center. We have our DRE tutoring in the same space. And we are now located right next door with the Writing Center, which you may be taking advantage of as you get a little further along in your college career. Um, in your packet, you should have a handout from me that gives you sort of a basic overview of the services that we offer in the center. It's also got our hours on it and location and so forth. So I encourage you to, um, to read over that. Uh, one thing that we do also offer to you, we've got a schedule of instructors who are in the center at various times throughout the week. Um, you should have received a copy of it in your email just this morning. So um, next time that you check that, be, be sure that you uh, look for that. Um, we've got DRE instructors, we've got ACA instructors, and we've got uh, math instructors who are available to assist you. And all of that is on a drop-in basis. So anytime that you need some additional assistance, please come in and uh, ask one of us and we'll, we'll get you sorted out. Um, we also do a lot of work with students uh, who need help with their technology, whether it be your student email, using your Blackboard course, um, if you need help typing up an essay, need some help with formatting, we can work with you on those things as well. Um, in order to use the center, we are required to have a referral from your instructor. And in most cases, your instructors have probably already uh, submitted those referrals for you. Um, if you've got any question about that when you come in, just let me know and we can double check for you. Um, we will have you sign in when you come in to do some work and I'll, I'll show you how that works. We have to keep track of how many hours students are there because that's how we get our funding to keep it available for you. Um, so anything that you may need through the semester, please stop in and ask. Um, at this time, I'm going to introduce uh, Ms. Judy Bailey, who is one of our DRE tutors, and she'll tell you a little bit more about uh, what she can do for you. <laughs> Hello, I am Judy Bailey. Now that I have your attention, I'd like to call your attention to the fact that tutoring is available in the Academic Support Center, Mr. Casey's lab, for DRE students at no extra charge. For a limited time only, only limited by the length of the semester, my colleague, Claire Darrow, and I are at your service Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. Mrs. Darrow is available Monday through Wednesday, and I am available Thursday and Friday. But wait! <laughs> If you sign up today, or tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, or the day after the day after tomorrow, you can be guaranteed a one-hour session on a weekly basis with the tutor of your choice. But wait. Even if you don't sign up for an hour-long session on a weekly basis, you can drop in or help as needed. If we're not with another client, we'll be happy to assist you. Drop-ins are welcome. So, if you need support with reading assessment or writing assignments, come see Claire Darrow or Judy Bailey in the Academic Support Center, Mr. Casey's lab. <laughs> absolutely wondering why Dana Sauls was still hanging up here and I had no idea. Well, I am Beth Casey. Wait, who is that calling me? 
it's the math department calling me. It turns out that I'm to introduce the math instructors. If I could ask Gretchen Thompson and Jackie Keene, uh, again they're calling me. <laughs> and Tyler Leeser and Zach Matthews, were you guys going to come up and say a few words? I'm Regina. Oh, I miss Regina. Right, sitting on the other side. She wasn't sitting with the crowd. Wow. Hi, Hi everybody. Uh, I'm Tyler Leeser, part of the math department here. Um, just a couple of things I want to let you guys know. Um, so first and foremost, we do offer a wide range of math from the developmental all the way up to the curriculum classes. Any math course that you need, we'll be happy to help. Uh, one thing I want to encourage everybody is, especially during our office hours, we're always happy to meet you guys one-on-one -on -one basis. If you need any extra help with homework um, or, or just feel like you're struggling with the course and you need some extra attention. Uh, not only that, we also offer um, what we're calling tutoring at noon every day, Monday through Friday from 12 to 1 in Building 3, Room 126. It's a big computer lab. We have math faculty in that room. You're welcome to come anytime for any level mathematics, work on homework or quizzes. Uh, we'll be happy to help as much as possible. Um, and then beside that room, we have what we call the, uh, the testing center, which is another just big computer lab where you can come in anytime, uh, work on homework if you have some free time in between classes. So I would definitely encourage each and every one of you um, to come to any of these services we provide. Thank you. Oh, and I was asked to make sure that I gave the names of everybody in the department. If you have me for a class, I am Regina Price. Um, the gentleman that just spoke is Mr. Tyler Leeser. Next to him is Mrs. Jackie Keene. Next to her is Mrs. Gretchen Thompson. And on the end is Mr. Zach Matthews. And please come see us if you need any help with math. Or our boss. Uh, Kim Mullis. She wasn't able to be here today, so we are standing in for her. <laughs> Um, I've taught ACA several semesters, and each semester a student sticks out. Um, we call them master students for doing such an awesome job and having great attendance and earning an A and just being a, you know, generally an overall pleasure. And I'm excited to um, introduce to you one of my friends and former ACA students, Becky Gagnon. She's going to come and speak to you for a moment. Hey, um, um, I was completely shocked when Miss Casey called and asked if I wanted to come up here and speak, but um, I'm glad she did. Um, when I stepped on campus here, I had been 22 years when I walked out of the last school, so I was nervous as heck, and I was like, what in the heck have you gotten yourself into? But I'm here, this is my third semester, I'm doing good, and I would not have done it without the skills that I learned in my ACA class, especially like with the critical thinking, and all of those little things that you think are monotonous and stuff, they help and they work. I am living proof of that because there's no way I would have been able to remember half the stuff that I remembered without what I learned. And Miss Casey just always believes in all her students and the support. And I just I wanted to say thank you to her and everybody else that's here that's helped me. I've been through some struggles and I'm still here and I'm still kicking. Thank you. Great job. She, she's over here talking like it was off or something. She had fun. Um, I'm, I'm also going to introduce to you the director of counseling, uh, Kimberly Jackson, who's sitting over, and then I'm going to scoop down. Thank you, guys. Good afternoon. I am one of the counselors that are available to you, and kind of like your ACA students spoke about, um, getting, taking advantage of those resources on our campus are very important. And if you need additional help outside of what you learn in ACA, please come and seek us out. The counseling department offers personal, career, and academic counseling. They help you find answers and resources to questions like, I'm not sure what I want to do when I grow up. Um, how can I explore options? Or, I want to be a social worker. Will BCC's Human Services Program get me where I want to go? We also help you find answers to questions like, my instructor talks really fast and I'm having, really, I'm having difficulty keeping up. What strategies can I use to help with that process? Or, I need help with time management or study skills. What resources are available? Or what do I need to do to transfer to ECU or East Carolina, I mean East or Elizabeth City State University? I'm not sure what path I need to take. Now on a personal note, personal note, um, we help you find questions, excuse me, find answers to questions like, 
I have limited income and need housing. What housing options may be available? Or I've been struggling with depression and I don't know where to go. We offer these services to you on a one-on-one, -on -one, confidential, no-charge basis. Uh, when we meet with you, we can schedule an appointment to meet with you, or we can um, accept walk-ins. We try to have an open door. Because I have such a short time to talk to you today, I want to leave you with one um, quote that I have found from George Sheehan. George Sheehan was a, a cardiologist, a famous doctor, but he actually really kind of left his mark on the world with him thinking about life and what things mean and kind of his self-discovery, and he shared that with lots of people. And so he had this quote regarding success. Success means having the courage, the determination, and the will to become the person you believe you were meant to be. Here in the counseling department, we are here to help you reach your goals and to be all that you want to be. So please come and check us out. We're in Building 9. I'm in Office 925. We have an additional counselor, Shelby Phillips, in Office 924. And we're here to help you in all ways um, possible. Thank you. Hello, I am um, Kate Purvis, and I'm glad to see everybody here today. I am going to introduce our special populations coordinator. Her name is Joan Robson. She's going to come up and speak just a minute, um, and then I'll introduce a few more people to you. So, Joan. Hi, hey everybody. Um, what I do for people who have any type of condition that impacts their learning here on campus uh, to, to receive accommodations to make sure that they have um, an even playing field in their courses. Um, not only in classwork, but sometimes if a student has a mobility issue or any type of physical condition where they're concerned about their safety on campus if something should happen to them with that condition. I also try to put in place some procedures to make sure that faculty uh, and staff are aware of that condition for that student so that they at least, you know, they can be relieved that there is that kind of attention on campus. In addition, um, students who are first year college students who may have received accommodations in high school, you are people that should be coming to me if you need assistance. College is a little bit different than high school in that you have to self-disclose and you have to come see me and say, I need assistance or I want to have some, some accommodations to help me access my course. Um, one of the things that we try to do is, is uh, give students the self-advocacy skills so they can talk to their faculty member about those um, issues that are concerning to them. And they're going to be received well by the faculty. People are aware of the need for accommodations and they are willing to help you. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I'm they in room 927A. They have a brochure in their package. Yes, there's also a brochure. And you can uh, come by and see me, make an appointment, and I'd be more than happy, happy to help you out with accommodations here at uh, Boulder County Community College. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Teresa Edwards. She is the Student Activities Coordinator here at Beaufort. Good afternoon. I've seen quite a few of you here on campus. And Tell you what my role is here on campus. I'm student activities coordinator here. By that, I'm also the advisor for the student government, um, and I'm the co-advisor for um, Game Data Five. I'm responsible for the PC information that you have in your packet that lets you know what the SGA sponsored events are, and it also tells you dates to remember. And there was just a few of them that I highlighted in here, and. Um, but the most important thing that I can remember to tell any of you guys is check your email. That is the best way to know what's going on on campus. It um, gives you lots of information that you would be able to see for yourself instead of waiting for someone to tell you about it. Always, when you're walking around campus, you see all this information that's blasted on the doors. A lot of times that's information that would be vital to you. Take a moment to read it. Um, at our next student government meeting, which will be, I think it's September the 23rd, um, I invite all of you to come. We're going to have an ice cream social after we have our meeting. The meetings don't usually last more than 8 or 10 minutes, but there's a lot of vital information that is shared during that time frame, and we usually have a snack of some kind provided for you. We always meet at noon. Um, it's the fourth Tuesday of every month and it's in the student lounge in Building 9. I'm located in Building 9, 918. If you have any questions, please feel free to 
come and see me. Um, there are 12 clubs right now that are active here on campus. Um, if you're interested in knowing some more information about the clubs, please come and see me. I should have put that information in this packet and it just slipped my mind. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to email that information to Ms. Sauls so that she can share it in your classes. So if you have any questions or if there's anything that I can do to help anyone, please feel free to stop by my office. And again, it's 918. Thank you. And now I have the wonderful honor of introducing one of my former ACA students. Um, James was a, he was a master student. He uh, received an A for the class for his hard work, his dedication, his attendance, and um, it's my honor to introduce James Jones to you today. Hello, I'm James Jones. I'm out here full time. Miss Purvis, class is real fun. Just be your own selves and note taking and time and money really helped me in our class. The only thing else I have to tell you is whatever you learn in these ACA classes will hit you in the future. You just don't know when, don't know where, don't know how, but it will help you. Because I'm in English 111 now and half the stuff I learned in her class, I'm like, oh crud, what was it again? <laughs> it's rough. It's, it's going to hurt y'all, but hey, y'all fight it out. Y'all be a master student in no time. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Liz Shinohara, and I also teaching ACA and DRE with Kate and Beth and Dana. Um, I want to give you a heads up that because I just started three weeks ago, I don't have a master student to show you today. <laughs> However, I sincerely expect one of you all to be my master student next year. So I think in addition to all the other goals you got, put that one in there as well. Want to be Ms. Shinohara's master student next year. Okay? <laughs> all right. Um, this is very, very interesting to me. I'm learning so much about the Beaufort County Community College campus that I wasn't aware of. So I hope you're all taking notes as I am. And let's keep passing this information back and forth. I do have the pleasure of introducing to you three ladies today, and the first person I'd like you to give your attention to is Ms. Dorothy Jordan, who is our Director of Student Support Services. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'd like to say, of course, welcome to BCCC, um, since I know this, you're starting your journey. Um, in your packet, you have a yellow pamphlet that says TRIO. It looks somewhat like this, that yours is yellow. And it gives you information about our program. Um, TRIO Student Support Services is a federally funded program. And we serve students who um, are, well, pretty much all, many students on campus qualify. Um, but specifically, first generation college students, um, students who um, meet requirements to receive financial aid, and or students with some um, disability or something that may uh, impede their ability to be successful. What we do in TRIO is offer some additional services to all of those wonderful things you've heard about already to assist you in being the student that we know you can be to be successful and move on to transfer to a four-year community, a four-year school, or to graduate from Beaufort County Community College. We do that through offering these services of course, college transfer, in addition to what Ms. Jackson and those do in the counseling department, we um, take the students who are in our program, um, we encourage, even if that in your original intention, we encourage most people to pursue transfer. And we um, take you on some college um, campuses so you can see what it's like on the four-year campus. Um, we offer tutoring in addition to what you've heard about um, through Mr. Casey's area, we offer tutoring even beyond what you're taking now when you get in English 111 or if you get in um, uh, um, anatomy and physiology and chemistry. Um, we have tutors uh, that we hire who some are uh, your fellow students who've been very successful in those classes and we do have and will try to get more um, people who have maybe worked in that field or who have degrees in that particular area to help you on a one-on-one -on -one basis or a small group basis. 
We offer resource material loans. We offer, and as you learn more in your ACA, you'll hear about the importance of having some resources. Like we have um, a, a recorders that we um, that students keep for a semester, and you'll find out how you know recording a lecture or recording a class. You can go back hear it again. How how that's helpful. Um, we have um, a very few laptops that we loan on a very short-term basis to help you get over the hump or the hurdle if you've got a project that you just got to get done and you don't have any other way to get it done. We have a few of those and we have some calculators, um, uh, some graphing calculators once you get into the higher level math or so if you need it for whatever you're taking now um, that we can loan. We also have some old textbooks, um, study guides, lots of materials that we can, we can give you. To enhance as the gentleman said, what you learn in ACA, you may need to hear it again. Um, for students in our program, we do workshops. For instance, tomorrow, Ms. Hunter is going to do a workshop on textbooks, my best friend, to, to, to talk about how to strategize with your textbook. Use the website associated with it. Get familiar with how to use the textbooks. But that's just one sample of that. And then cultural awareness, we offer the students an opportunity to see beyond these counties that we live in or just some things that you may or may not would pursue on your own. Um, one of the things we're going to do, and it just comes to mind this semester, is take the students to East Carolina University to see uh, a play called The Streetcar Named Desire um, that you may have read about probably. Um, anyway, it's an old, old play, but um, those are the kinds of things that we do. But we, one of the things we like is that in our lab, one, room 120, and it's all listed here on the back, um, our students in there and they help each other. Our tutors help, help you um, with whatever usually it is that we can. And if we can't, we will know how to refer. So please come by, pick up an application to be a part of our program. We'd love to work with you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I hope you guys take advantage of all these things that are being offered to you. Pay attention and do not be shy about walking in and taking advantage of them. Um, Next, we have Ms. Sandria McFadden, who took some time out of her busy day and was able to come in. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, how's everybody? Good. Good. Wake? Yeah. Yep. Good. Good. I'm more toward the end of the program, but what is it that we want to do when we get out of here? When we finish our program of study, where do we want to be? Either in a job or career path that you have chosen to study or go on to a four-year college and then um, get a, a, a career job then, so to speak, okay? Well, that's my job is to help you discover what it is that you really want to do. Many of you may have already come through the career lab, center lab, when you did the advising this summer. How many did advising in building nine? None? Do y'all know where the career lab is? Oh, that's I thought everybody came through there. It felt like everybody came through the academic advising center. Well, we're located in Building 9, back where the counseling and, and uh, Teresa Edwards and all of those folks are. I'm back there. And so when you come into Building 9, you go past the registrar's office. If you keep on going and cross over that pathway there to the student lounge, you're going to find a career area and also the counseling area. Well, the lab is right beside me. It is open for you to come in and do any kind of research that you want to about your career. You can apply for um, applications online. You can use that source. There's a, a lab in there, I mean a bulletin board with um, potential jobs that I search for, but um, finding that or correlate to the types of programs that we have here on campus. Um, but that's my primary uh, job is to help you make sure many of you will come to see me. Don't make it just about extra points if that's the, <laughs> the motivation, but make it about am I in the right career of choice? 
and if you're just getting started, it's not too late to make that change. You'd ha I'd hate to see you a whole year and then say, that's not what I really want to do. So I uh, take advantage of the services that um, I provide and our colleagues in the back provide. And um, I'm in room 921, the lab is 920. And I think that's just about wrapping it up, except for, uh, is Sandra Barfield here? Yes. I thought, I thought she was a blonde-headed lady. <laughs> okay, well, I get to meet her, too. She um, will be doing work-based learning in your sheet. It's got Steve Smith, and he is no longer doing it. But the handout, one other thing before I turn it over to Ms. Barfield is, at the very end, I did something a little bit different this year. I put in there a sample portfolio guide, and at your leisure, look at it. It talks about job skills, job hunting skills, and helps you think about all these things while you're starting your journey in your education. It's not if you need to be accountable for those sorts of things and be thinking about it before you get to the end and then rush in to try to get a resume or something done. Okay, Ms. Barfield? As Ms. McFadden said, I'm Sandra Barfield and um, this position is new to me as well. But um, I'm pretty familiar with um, work-based learning as it's called now. Some of you may know it as cooperative education. Um, Co-ops have, have been around for a while and they're a great, great tool for students to use. Um, a co-op is basically a partnership between the college, the student, and an employer. And it gives the student a chance to really try a job on, you know, to see if, if, if they're going to like it. There are a lot of careers out there that look good and you know someone who has that career and it looks great. Um, you think they've just got the perfect job and then you go after that job and once you go every day things change a little bit. It doesn't seem to be as perfect as you thought it was and it's just not what you wanted to do. A co-op experience gives you a little bit of insight into the job itself and what that does is it lets you actually work at a position for credit hours. Instead of coming to the college every day, you go to your job every day. So if this is something that you're interested in, um, there's a brochure um, available. We have several um, areas of study that have work-based learning courses in them. I advise you to take advantage of that. If you don't see it listed, um, talk to your instructor. We're always looking for new opportunities or you can come talk to me. I would advise you to go to your instructor first, but um, I'll be in my office. My office is in building 4402A. I'm on campus normally on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but anytime, if you'll um, call me or leave me a note, I'll be glad to meet with you at any time. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks, Ms. Barfield. And again, students, on the back of your goal sheet, uh, do not forget to make those changes. Um, Ms. Barfield took Steve Smith's place. And again, she has a brochure in your packet with her information. Now it is my pleasure to introduce one of my former ACA students, and she's going to come up here and give her advice to Ms. Shaquanda Moore. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shaquanda Moore. I did have ACA last semester, and I had it with Miss Dana Souls, in which when she called, I took the words of fulfilling your responsibility fulfills your dream. For college students, we're here for a reason. We all have a dream. So ACA is going to help you and give you some tips to fulfill your dreams. So a big key to college is realizing that we have responsibilities. So ACA was great for pointing out the plethora of things that were great. So anyways, I'm going to pull out the word dream in which the D is for daily go on Blackboard for it is very important. <laughs> daily go on Blackboard because you could definitely miss out on things that you were supposed to have did and you go online and it's already due or past due. Mm -hmm. So daily, go on Blackboard because it could result in a zero. So keep that in mind. And the R is resources. You have plenty of resources that are here for you and they are a lot of them are here for free. 
such as the Writing Center, the Academic Support Center, which the Casey sees me a lot. It is very, very, it's needed. Like, use it. It's here for you. Take, uh, take advantage of it. And the E, I said, every day go to class, gain the knowledge that you're going to have there at class for you. Every day go to class, and there's going to be something there for you to learn. And A, I said the ability to communicate, because in ACA we had a project that we had to do, and we didn't communicate very well, I'm going to say it like that, <laughs> for our project, and which I think we started off with four or five people in our group, and we ended up with two presenting. The lack of communication was a big issue, so that's going to be presented to you in ACA as well. So another thing, the end for DREAM was managing your time. And we was taught that in ACA as well, like managing your time is a big thing. You're given due dates, you know when your things are due, so jump on it. Procrastination is not something you want to have a grasp on. Let it go if you do, because I had to. Because managing your time is a very, very important key. Knowing when something is due, because that could also result in a zero. So keep that in mind. Fulfilling your responsibility helps you fulfill your dream. That's all I have to say. Wonderful, wonderful advice. My hope for all of you, we're going to wrap it up, is to use all of these resources that you heard here today, as well as we have others um, that are on your gold sheet that you did not hear from, from hear from today. So I hope that you will use every each and every one of them. Also, thanks to the president's office, each of you on your way out will receive an apple. I know this is lunchtime. We have an apple for you. A pen and a koozie. So, um, again, make sure you grab each of these things on your way out. And please enjoy and good luck in your studies. Thank you.